another video. Um, so today, um, I'm just going to talk about my feelings about guide dog training and where, how I feel about everything. Now that training is very close and the process is pretty much over, I know I've said for many, many months that I've been really excited, which I am, about guide dog training. Just to some stuff that's kind of on my mind, but I feel like I'll get through it and I feel like I'll, I'll figure it out. So, I feel like other guide dog users or service dog users that have probably gotten their first or maybe second dog, etc., like whatever chapter they're in in their lives, I feel like they can all relate in a way. When I first applied to Guiding Eyes last year, uh, please don't judge me on this, I'm learning. I knew about the whole guide dog commitment, but it was just words to me. It didn't mean, it didn't mean anything. I never real, I didn't realize how much work actually went into it. I knew there was, you needed to have good, needed to have good O&M skills with your cane and etc. And I knew, my, I knew, I knew, I know what I'm capable of, and I know my cane skills. I do really well with my cane and my my directional independent skills. But when I first applied last year, I was like, "Oh my God, I want the dog! I want the dog!" But like the admissions department is like, "Christian, you got to think about certain stuff more." Which I'm glad I did. My parents sat me down and they made sure I thought about stuff, and they had me sleep on stuff, and which I did. It didn't take too long, but it took some time for me to finally figure out and doing months and months of research. Knowing how much knowledge I have on this stuff too. Watch other blind visually impaired people's perspectives on guide dogs and you know, like I am friends with two guide dog users outside of the internet and they've given me some great advice, which I really appreciate. And I think they probably watch my videos. Not only because I'm a dog person, I've grown up around guide dogs, which is also the easy part of why I really wanted this. Also, I really loved, I really love the social aspect of service dogs. It makes you more social with people. People want to come up to you, be like, oh, hey, like, how, how old is your dog? Like, how long have you had it? Like, it, they, they, when they see a dog, like, it's just a comforting thing to people, even me. Like, I'm, I'm always excited to see a dog somewhere. Part of why I, before I even thought about the commitment, like, back at the very beginning. A year ago, I cannot believe it's been a year ago since I applied. Wow, where has life gone? <laughs> so yeah, after I've done like all that, I finally came to the decision. Yes, my lifestyle is definitely gonna change, but I really think it's gonna be a great thing in my life. And I really think it's gonna be a special thing that's gonna impact not just my life, but my family's life. We've never had a pet in my, we have our pet dogs, Peanut and Coco at my dad's house, but here at my mom's house, um, we've never had a pet in our lives. We all like dogs, we all like sat down and talked, and we all support each other on that it's going to be a great benefit to me, but also like, yeah, it's definitely going to be a big part of me, but what's also the bigger picture of it too, that I've also thought about that too. We've also thought about it. Where we are in life right now, is this the best time? And we agreed that it was the, the, the great time actually, began. I'm glad I waited, and even though I was six, even though I could have applied to Guiding Eyes or whatever school, like Leader Dogs, four years ago, um, I didn't feel ready. I didn't feel mature enough yet. I wanted to get more skills with my cane. I was only like 16. It was back in like 2017. Yep, it was, I was 16. Now I'm 20 in 2021. I feel like I'm successful enough to where, I've, um, where I'm now like ready for a guide dog. And I feel like I'm independent enough to where like I can handle it and I feel mature enough to hit, not just take care of a dog but also keep up its training and also my skills because I'm going to be trained too. Another thing is not knowing what your actual lifestyle is going to look like and I just want to know now but I know I have to wait. It's one of those things I think anybody could relate to this when you're going to do it have a new lifestyle like you're you just want to know like right away but like it's not the reality though like you have to be patient and i'm trying but it's just very exciting though i know there's definitely challenges with a guide dog or a service dog in general but i feel that's also why i waited because i know like you have to educate people and you have to be are you are you are you going to be able to handle some access issues which that shouldn't be an issue but unfortunately it still is i feel ready and mature enough i looked up all the laws i've researched a ton of things and Plus, you guys also noticed from my misconceptions videos that I've about service dogs that I've broken down. You guys can probably see that I'm a that I research a lot of stuff, and I, I'm always researching things. I'm always like I'm on the internet quite a bit actually, every day actually, like streaming stuff, like streaming videos on YouTube or. 
always researching stuff, new things that I'm curious about or I feel like it's important that I should know. I really think the benefits are going to really outweigh the negatives to a guide dog. And there's positives and negatives to everybody's lives. And guide dogs are not for everybody and canes. Even though I really enjoyed using a cane for most of my life, I finally realized I gotten old enough to realize, like, how do I want to navigate this world independently? I've been educated on service dogs and disability since I was a child, actually, because, you know, I've been with the School Association for Special Education in DuPage County, or SASID, um, with the, their Visually Impaired Blind program for most of my schooling. I'm really glad that my parents put me in the program because I've gotten the skills from the special services that I've needed and deserve to get a guide dog and also just for me to be an independent person really, you know? You guys have seen my videos like where I've walked around on my own, like you guys see my independence and stuff. From the O&M trips I filmed to downtown Chicago, I live in the suburbs of Chicago by the way. I'm also sometimes going to be frustrated with like people coming up to me and like, well I love the, um, the um, the social part of it, but sometimes if I don't want to talk to people and I just want my dog to take me to where I need to go, like let's say I want to go to a grocery store and just get some food for my family and just come home. I will talk, I I would love to talk to people, but if I'm busy, then I it's not really the appropriate time, the inappropriate, it's really not the best time to do it. That's when it gets frustrating or even like crossing a street or something, I need to focus on my dog's body movement, but also like mine, like we got to focus on each other. And it's one of those times that it's not the greatest time to do it. And those are some of the frustrations that I know I'm definitely going to experience. My dog is definitely going to teach me a lesson that I'm probably not going to be thinking about right now. Well, a good lesson, not a bad one. Just a good one, like how you should, like, you know, because the unconditional love, like you get something out of that dog. Like you, they give you a unique perspective on life. And I've seen that from like crew Molly Burke, Joy Ross. Uh, from K to Z, Blind and Proud, Service Dog Paws, Romelia and Dixie, um, Helping Paws, and Bama Blind. Oh, and if any of you guys that I mentioned that are watching this, hello. <laughs> um, yeah, that's how I feel about guide dog stuff and where I am now. I just can't wait until January. Like, before we all know it, the holidays are going to fly by, New Year's going to come by, Christmas is going to come by, and before we know it, guide dog training will be here and the the party's starting. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. hope you found this, I'm pretty sure some of you found this relatable in some way or another. See you all in the next video and comment, like, and subscribe. Bye.